Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, AD Summer Full Four. So today, guys, we do our Champions League first qualifying round predictions, guys. So we're gonna talk about all the games. Um, give you guys a quick prediction for each of the games. So I want you guys to do the same in the comments below, guys. Like and subscribe as well. It does help the channel grow. And please, like I said, guys, consider becoming a member of the channel for only ninety nine cents per month, guys. You can access the members' videos, members' streams, priority replies, the comments. You know. All the privileges of becoming a member it's really worth it guys and it's only for a dollar per month it's a very affordable price so I hope we can get more members on the channel guys it would really help this channel grow and you can get we can um, build upon this channel so it would really really help I would appreciate it you know uh, like I said also turn on my patient bell to be notified whenever I go live and upload a video and yeah without all that being said let's go ahead and get started with the video so I want to go ahead and make things clear before we even get dive into the predictions so basically, the winner of these games will move on to the second qualifying round, and the losers will be transferred over to the Europa Conference League main path, and then two of the losers will be transferred over to the uh, league path, okay? So I hope you, that makes it all clear now, and we're going to go ahead and get started. So we're going to start with the first game, which we have here, which is BK Hakim versus New Saints. Now, I believe BK Hakim is the unseeded team, and the New Saints are the seeded team. So for BK Hacking, man, it's it's it was incredible for them to win the Swedish League after a long time. They finally won it. It was incredible, you know. And I just think that for me, it's going to be interesting to see how they do here in this European affair. You know, can they finally get can they get to the Champions League? Because like I said, guys, I believe and I'm mistaken, no Swedish clubs was in the Champions League last season. So it would be very very disappointing if they cannot get to the Champions League. So you know, this is the first time they've ever won the Swedish League in their history. So, it'll be interesting if they can follow it up and do one better and qualify for Europe. As for New Saints, obviously this team has been great, you know, and all. And, you know, like I said, they, you know, this is what they always do. They always typically dominate the division. So, it's interesting, though, because logically speaking, the New Saints should win this. And I do think they sh they sh they are the favorites. I just have a feeling we're going to see an upset. I just have a feeling we're going to see an upset. And I feel like BK Hakim is going to actually pull up the upset. Even though, like I said, Swedish clubs tend to underperform in Europe, I'm going to go with BK Hockey. I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt, and I'm going to say they advance on this one. Moving on. Moving on, we have B FC Balkany versus Ludogrets. This is a massive matchup. Probably the most difficult one to call because FC Balkany had just made the Conference League debut last season. It was amazing what they did. Unfortunately, they were not able to get out of the group stage. The fact they were able to compete, though, was incredible. And the Ludogrets, we know the quality of this team has. They, they've been competing in European competitions for a long time now. Um, some would say the decline has kind of already begun, though. It's a very difficult matchup to call. I would love to see Balkany do it again. I would love to see them do it. I just think, though, that I think it's going to be too tall of a task. And especially the second leg being in Ludogrets and being in their stadium um, in Bulgaria, I think could be a sizable advantage. Maybe if the second leg, maybe if they can win the first leg by a big score, then it won't matter. But I just don't think Balkany can win the first leg by a huge scoreline margin. And now, if they, so that's why I think they're going to advance. So Ludogrets for me, I think the second leg at home is going to be a huge advantage, and I'm going to go with them to advance. Hopefully, I'm wrong though. Next up, it is on um, we got Shamrock versus Berdebeck. This is a matchup where I could see Berdebeck actually do it. I was very very impressed with what they did in the Champions League preliminary round and the qualifying round. They were able to beat the. Um, they were able to win so convincingly. You know, they beat the San Marino team by a huge scoreline. They also beat the Montenegro team by a huge scoreline as well. Shamrock Rovers, on the other hand, I've just not really been that convinced with. You know, uh, they haven't really been that convincing. I feel like they've been kind of disappointing in Europe. They did make get the conference like the last season, so shout out to them though. So it's gonna be very difficult, man. I, I I'm really not sure who do I back on this one, guys. I'm going to give Shamrock Rovers the benefit of the doubt, and I think they should advance. However, I could see Brederbeck do it. And I think the key for Shamrock Rovers is to win the first leg. If you can win the first leg at home, then you could go away and you know lose the game by a small margin and still advance by a hefty score, right? Because here's the thing, guys. If Shamrock Rovers don't win the first leg, I honestly would probably favor Brederbeck because the second leg is in Iceland, and I think that's going to be a great ad ad advantage they have. So I'm going to go... With Shamrock Rovers to advance, though, regardless. Next up is Algoris versus FC Struga. This is a very interesting one. Um, I was looking at the history for this one. Struga have not made, um, they have not made the European competitions ever in their history, as Algoris on the other hand have. So, 
logically speaking, Zalgiris probably should do it. Although there could possibly be an upset. You know, I would I could see this one being it. I'm gonna go Zalgiris though to advance on this one. I just feel like for me, Struga for me, I think they're gonna underperform. Yes, the second leg is at home. I just feel like for me, Zalgiris will just get the job done at home by a good score line, and they can afford to lose the second leg by like a one or two nil, and they'll be fine. You know. So who knows? Though I could very easily see I could see Struga doing it as well. I just think Zalgiris is just gonna do it. Next up is um, KI versus um, Ferenc Varos. For me, Ferenc Varos should be winning this matchup. Um, with all due respect to KI, I respect for what they've done to get this achievement. Ferenc Varos, for me, I mean, look what they did in the Europa League last season. I mean, I, do I even need to explain? They made it to the round of 16. They topped their group. I feel like, for me, this Ferenc Varos team is amazing. Yes, they did lose one of their best players, Ladoni, to Union Berlin. That's a huge, huge loss. I think they have enough quality to compete, and I expect them to be KI by a good score line, both home and away from home. So let's see though, KI, they may be able to prove me wrong. I um, I would be very surprised. <laughs> Next up, it is Olympia versus Valmeria. I mean, this is a limpid, yeah, Lodjablana. This is a very interesting one, guys. I think for me, Olympia should be winning this. Valmeria, I respect for what they've done to get to this achievement. You know, the second leg being at home is a great achievement. I just, second leg at home is an advantage. I just think that for me, Olympia with the first leg being at home. I just expect them to win the first leg by a big score line, which won't really matter for the second leg. So I believe they should advance. Next up, it is um, HJK versus Lauren. Now, obviously, I've got done HJK save on my Twitch. So if you guys want to follow me on Twitch, you guys can see more of that. Um, you know, HJK has been a fun team. Uh, and they're playing against Lauren. I mean, I think HJK should be able to advance in this one. I think it's a very relatively doable matchup for them. And I think they have the quality of players like the likes of Risky. Then obviously you have the likes of um, Jair, then Connor Hazard, etc. I, I think they should have enough to overcome Lauren in this matchup. Next up, it is Lincoln Red Devils versus quarterback. I think quarterback should be winning this matchup. They have a lot of quality players. I think for me, they're one of the most underrated teams in Europe, not in the Europe top five leagues. And um, I think they could do this, man. I, I fully expect them to do this. Uh, shout out to Lincoln Red Devils. So let's see if they can do it. Full up amazing upset from Good Vulture, of course. I just don't think they can do it. So, prove me wrong, though. I would love to be proven wrong. Next up, it is uh, RKS Rocco Shekoskia. I'm probably butchering this name. I'm just going to call them Rakoya. Um, so, I don't, you know, I can pronounce that, I'm pretty sure. They were play they're playing against FC Floor. Rocco obviously won the Polish League, so that's a pretty uh, good achievement there, um, you know. And um, it's it's incredible because they were able to win the league ahead of Legia Warsaw. Um, and Lech Poznan, which is an incredible achievement considering how those two teams are probably better than them on paper. I wouldn't going to go ahead and say this, though. I think Rocco should be able to advance against FC Floor. I think they have enough quality players to do so, and I would expect them to do so. So let's see. They should be able to do so. Then we got Slovian Bacisabe versus Swift Hesper. I think Slovian Bacisabe should be doing this. They have enough quality players. They made just the Europa Conference League round of 16, in which they lost to Basel. After having a 2-0 lead. So I still am very, very disappointed with them for that. But, you know, putting that to a side, they should be able to beat this team, I would reckon. And with the quality players they have, I would expect them to do so. So I'm going to go slow and about to advance. Next up it is FC Constita versus Sheriff Teresipo. Sheriff should be doing this. Yes, they haven't really been as good as they used to be. I, ex I still think, though, they have enough quality to beat this team. And they still have their players that, you know, they compete in the Europa League last season, so and the Conference League respectively. So I think they should be able to do this. I'm gonna go Sheriff to advance. Next up, it is um Hamra Spartans versus Maccabi Hafia, guys. It's gonna be Hafia. I mean, what they did in the Champions League group stage was phenomenal, and I believe they could get back to the Champions League again. You know, who knows if they can do so? And I think they should be able to beat Hamra Spartans with the quality players they have. Next up is Urata versus um Havritskaya Club Zrinski. This is a club that Luka Modric actually used to play for, guys. So, this is a very interesting one. I am going to go with um, Zyrski to advance to this one. I feel like they have enough quality players to do so. Um, and, yeah, man. So, let's see if they could do it, man. Let's see if they could do it. Uh, then, moving on to penultimate matchup, we have Partizani versus Bait Barcelov. And this is where I'm going to actually go with the upset. I think Bait, even though I think Bait should win this, I'm going to go with Partizani, though. Because I feel like, for me, they have enough quality players. And I've just not really been convinced with Bait. You know, they, they lost the belt, the belt, they lost the um, the Belarus League, which they shouldn't have, and um, that's kind of making me a little uh, skeptical about them. So yeah, I'm gonna say they will advance. Partizani. 
And then the final matchup is got Astana versus Dinamo Tbilisi. This is a club, I believe, um, Kavratskalia came from, I believe. And I'm going to go with Astana. I think Astana, for me, they are European regulars. I think they should be able to get the job done against Dinamo Tbilisi. So I want to know your guys' predictions in the comments below, guys. Please let me know, guys, all that down below. Well, guys, like and subscribe. Comment over your thoughts, comments below. And let me let, let me know your predictions, comments from below. Also, consider becoming a member of the channel. And yeah, like I said, guys, I think that's all going to be for me today. Remember, guys, check out my other platforms below. And I'll see you guys for the second qualifying round predictions.